Okay, so here's the ELGI compressor I'm doing up. It's a little screw compressor, tiny little fella. What I'm going to do here is I've done made some measurements. Um, this sleeve, the whole lot from here all the way back to here is one piece. That gets replaced when you put a new PTF seal, PTFE, sorry, polytetrafluoroethylene lip seal, which can handle um, high RPM at the higher pressures uh, that these things need. This shaft spins at 10,000 revs a minute, so the surface speed is probably quite high. Um, so what I've done is I've actually measured the distance from the end of the shaft here to the front of that. Um, so when I make the pushing tool later that pushes the sleeve back on, um, this will finish up in the same place. So it looks like to get this sleeve off, um, they've given consideration, put a groove here all the way around. Like I said before, it's all one piece. Um, there is clearance behind here that you'd have to try and get something behind and pull this off without sort of wrecking anything too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a puller, a two-piece puller. It's going to be split this way with bolts that come through. Two pieces with a lip sticking out and going that groove. When it's on there, it's going to be butted up against here because I'm going to use the same tool to push the new one on. The datum will be here, like I said before. I'll grab this. I will pick up that taper that's in there. That normally what I do is put a ball out of a ball bearing in there so you don't damage that tape because I'm like I'm a machinist and I hate it when people wreck those there. You've got to normally sharpen a tool and fix all that. So if you just put a nice hardened ball in there the right size and cup the end of your puller, then the ball's that hard and smooth that generally what happens it'll slide either on the puller or slide in there and won't really wreck anything too much. Um, the puller will push on there, it'll grab here and will pull this, this sleeve off. So we'll go over the lathe and we'll rough out a bit of material and start hacking into it.
So this is the fit up. You can see the groove like I was talking about before, screwdriver disappearing inside there. And that matches up with the groove I made in this. Yeah, so this bore here is a neat fit to the shaft, slightly oversized. So you can see once we fit it in. Is a nice fit. It's just gripping that that groove. Hopefully, this material is strong enough that it doesn't pull out. So let's give it a go. Looks good. No wiggle, wiggle. Right, eh? Looks good. Then I'll just get a ball the right size, stick it in the hole, put the bolt up against it, pull this off. So here we go. What happens is I take this M8 out, which is what's used to extract the sleeve, and then I've got some high tensile M6, which is a clearance fit through the M8 into the thread in the shaft. So I'll screw that into the compressor shaft and that'll be static in there so I'm not actually binding any of the thread in there. Then on what will go on here is um, just a washer and a nut and I'll use this same tool to push the new sleeve on which will be guided by the parallel section of the pump shaft which is like I said a neat fit inside this housing. So there you have it. Pretty quick to make, didn't take long at all. Material, I'm pretty sure is uh, 4140, high tensile, plenty of that laying around. Um, I'll get the bolt ready and find a ball bearing and give it a go. Uh, 
There it is. Looks like it actually was up against the shoulder on the shaft. And that makes it easy. And there you have it. One extracted sleeve. Put the bolt in there. Worked pretty well. So here's a little cheat. I couldn't find the ball the right size. So I cut a tiny bit of that 6mm high tensile rod. Just proud of the shaft so that it wouldn't um, that sat inside the thread and my pusher bolt pushed on the end of that. I was worried it might screw in a bit, which it did a little bit. The flies just went pink and undid it, so no drama. Very good.